You look like a Sims character, like a GTA uh, character, bro. Why do you look like this? I look the same as I've always looked. What are you talking about? Are you cloned? It's three in the morning, I did. I'm sorry, I know. All right, listen, bro. I missed you a lot, bro. I haven't heard of you in a minute. My number got leaked. Sorry, I've been texting you. You need to clear this dumbass shit that I didn't check up on you in jail. People think I betrayed you and shit. You know damn well I hit up your team trying to send you let paragraphs. I said paragraphs, bro. I feel bad, bro. I want to redeem myself, all right? If I have to chop my finger off, I'll do it. Whatever you need me to do, I'll do it, bro. All right? I fuck with you, bro. I really do. You're my, you're my boy. Why say things? Because now I'm going to tell you to chop your finger off and you're not going to do it. So why, why, why do you just constantly talk? Yeah, but that's English? a... But that, but that's Every word out your mouth is a lie. But that's, a, but that's a poetic symbolism. That's not like really, I'm not really going to chop my finger off, but I really like, you know what I'm saying? Chop my finger off. Are we, we're streaming now, no? Yeah, say hi to everybody. Where, where are we streaming? Kick.com! Oh, what am I doing in my life? How you been, Aiden? I, I heard that you're um, gay and you're back on drugs. So no, nice. no, <laughs> no. Um, actually, not true. Okay, um, I'm not gay. Why is he saying you're gay and back on drugs then? I don't know who the fuck is saying that. Okay, I'm not gay. You no, you said it yourself. No, I'm not gay and I'm not back on drugs. Clean. Okay. Have you know? So you're not. You're not. Sip and lean again. No. Because I, 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 I heard otherwise, young man. I mean, I relapsed. Don't, don't wake me up and lie to me. I, I had a little relapse, okay? Now, look, check this out. You know, Your whole life is a fucking relapse. Your whole life is one constant relapse of failure. It's like you can't, you're not happy with your failures, so you're destined to repeat them over and over again. Why? And what the fuck are you wearing? Since when do you wear a suit? I'm sorry, I'll take it off. Don't do anything gay or weird. I'm just taking off my fucking suit, asshole. So why what, why did you have a suit on? Um, I had Kim Jong Un on stream, you know. Nice. Where is he now? Is he busy with nukes or? <laughs> um, I don't know. You think this looks good? Should I just tuck it? Yeah, that's fine. Get Kim Jong Un back. I want to ask him some questions about Asian domestic policy. I'll see if he'll give me bank accounts. Someone else has banned me. Wait, chat, should I actually get Kim back in here? I, I don't think you'd want to talk to him, bro. It's not really what you're expecting. I, 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 it's not really like you actually want to talk to him? Yeah, get Kim back. Why not? <clears throat> All right. Let me, let me, let me. Citrus, you're in my chat. Can you make, can you ask Kim if he's available to speak to uh, Andrew and uh, myself again? I got you. What time, what time is it in North Korea? I, must, what, I don't know what time is it. Is it day or night? It's uh, time in North Korea. I don't even want to Google this, to be honest with you. Um, 8.56 in the morning. What, it's 3 a.m. over there? 3 a.m., yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. I think he's going to get him right now. He's letting me know right now. Um, Dude, you know, ever since you, you were allowed to leave the house, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Have you been traveling? Have you been at, doing any adventures? Have you been hiking? What have you been doing? If I play music on your stream, you get hit with a bunch of DCMA notices. You can do whatever you want. Top G. Top striker. Have you seen all my new names? You know, I don't like how you're going by these uh, pronouns. I don't. Why? Because you know that's not you, bro. I, I know what you're trying to do. You don't, you, know, you don't have to appeal to that type of audience. You don't. You know what I'm saying? You don't have Those to. Those are your people. What? Those are your people, my G. No, they're not. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, my nickname's going forward. I want you to know from now on, you can call me either Emery Andrew Tate, as we know, Top G, Top Striker, Mr. Producer, Mr. Plenty, and I've got some new names you've not heard. War Man in Town, Billionaire Too Bad, Body Man Gangster, Say Once Boss. Say Once Boss, because I say it once. Kill him, he dies. Done. Take all trillionaire. Brave Not Sorry. Never Sorry. That's, just, that's the last name. Never Sorry. Brave Not Sorry. I'm not calling you that. Sorry. No. Shut up. Big Gun Dawn, Double Spice Daddy, or Struck Mind, because it's always on my mind. Dude, how the fuck are you going to call me gay, but your name is Double Spice I'm going to call you Double Spice Daddy. I'm going to call you that. Bro, well, do it. That's what the girls call me. You may as well fucking join in with your testosterone level, you little bitch. Hey, my test level, matter of fact, is a 350. It went up. It was it was a 280-something. went up. I don't even know what 
it's complicated depending what country you do it in. It gives like a different scale because I don't even know what that means. Is that high, low? I don't, I don't, I'm not versed on these things. I don't take steroids like your, like some other influencers. So I'm not very versed on all this stuff. You know, it's crazy. I was in the gym the other day and they were like, hey, Aiden, are you taking steroids? Because I had so much energy. It's crazy. Um, but nah. That's, just, that's definitely the first thing people think when they see you, Jim. Yeah. Wait, I think he's ready. <laughs> well, bro, he's heavy on the gear. Look at the size of the guy. <laughs> all right, hold on. Kim's ready. Kim's ready. All right, I'm going to add you. You just have to turn your camera on. He has to – hold on, Citrus. I'm going to add you in here. Is my camera on? It is, but I'm going to add you. You have to pick up the call again. Like, let's see. This is fucking old fuck. Chad, I think he's back to himself. Andrew, I'm not going to lie. You got nerfed, but now, like, you're back. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got like nerf. Like to be honest, you weren't hitting for me. Like you weren't merely making jokes. You were really serious. But now you're like hitting again. You're like making jokes and shit. I like when you're like funny, bro. For real. That's like really you. You know. There's many very different versions of me. There's different, many different incarnations. I can be funny. I can be serious. Andrew, Kim Jong. How you doing, my G? Hello, Mr. Andrew Tate. Yeah, I'm not bad. How's things over there? For me, it's always good. Good. I, I see you're working on your missile tech, trying to keep your country sovereign. Good luck. Of course, of course. Uh, unfortunately, American the Great Satan has been trying to keep my country down ever since 70 years ago, when my country was... And I swear to you, Mr. Tate, I will destroy America. Bro, all right, hold on a second. You don't have to That's say... That's good news. No, there, so you can... no, but it's not good it's news. It's okay. He's safe. He is safe. Bro. You're in Florida... That's where my man Donald Trump is. You will not get nuked. You're safe okay. in that state. So any Americans, if you want to be safe, move to Florida. Right. That's good to know. So how do you and Aiden know each other? Aiden, have you been to North Korea? No. Andrew, we should go. For, we should go. You want to go? Bro, I thought Romanian jail was bad, but I have a strong suspicion North Korean jail is probably a little bit worse. How Mr. Tate and Mr. Ross. If you come to North Korea, I'll put you up in my penthouse. And you'll have exclusive use of my private, private hiram. How does that sound? And Mr. Ross, you can get to my sister. She really needs a big... <laughs> I mean, look at that face. What the f She is so tight. She's so tight. You know, let me, tell you, all a, let me tell you all a story. You know, I had no money at all. And I was growing up in Luton on a council estate with a single mother with no money. I had all these dreams of what I'd do if I ever got rich. Andrew, if you make hundreds of millions of dollars, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. Turns out I go to Romanian jail and get woken up at three in the morning by Aiden Ross to come and talk to a Kim Jong Un impersonator. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I'm having a midnight, I'm having a midnight crisis now. What am I doing? I am filthy rich. What am I doing with my life? Excuse me. But I'm here. I'm the real deal. And any, <laughs> any hints about me being an impersonator, not the real thing, I will have you executed. <laughs> That'd be hard to do. You've been trying for a while. I'm pretty hard to. No, I have not tried before. Trust me. I uncle, I half brother, and if I want to someone, I'll do it. And this is the first time we spoke. So let's not get off on the wrong fo foot. All right, G. That's fair enough. <laughs> you do have to. Come over to North Korea, and I'll show you a good time. Where men are men, and women are women. That's true, but you just So I'm going to reconsider the invite, but I'll let you know. Oh, that's okay. I've seen a lot of people. I know how you feel. Me too. Yes. Kind of how life goes sometimes. You're just trying to wake up, trying to run your country, run your business. I get you. I understand it. You got your empire. You got your women. You got your harem. Yeah, you can see who else, who else on you talking who else? shit. Who else, Chad? Like, listen, don't make me fuck you up. I get it, bro. I'm the same. My, my life's basically the same. Me and you live the same life. I think I hear a man who understands me deeply. I think we'll be very good friends in the future. Me too. So what the fuck's Aiden doing here? Why are we friends with Aiden? What's Aiden good for? Hey, you know what, Andrew? I don't like that. We've been brothers for, oh, you know, I've known you almost like a year and a half now. Time goes by. You know, a year ago in like two months, that's the first time I've ever met each other in person. It's crazy. Life goes by, brother. How old are you now, Aiden? 22. What are you going to get for my birthday? I'm turning 23 in a month. Absolutely nothing. Why? Why would I buy you anything? Fair point. Fair enough. Um, 
Andrew, when is the uh? This is just, Kim. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you two and seeing seeing the banter that you have between you two. I mean, it's truly mesmerizing. I yeah. understand why you have so many views. Maybe I should start my own uh, kick channel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, I think uh, I think uh, I'll have some con converts to my to my Juche philosophy. Do you know about Juche philosophy, Aiden? What's that, sir? It's the philosophy of being self-sufficient. It was actually, funnily enough, the leader of North Korea. I believe it was our good guests here's father came to Romania. No, actually, sorry, let me get that Kim wrong. Yeah, Kim Il Sung, the Romanian dictator Ceausescu went to North Korea and he was inspired by it and he tried to instill it for Romania paid off the IMF just before he was assassinated but the idea is that basically you can be completely self-sufficient you don't need to trade with other countries however I'm sorry I don't mean to offend it's not actually a very effective economic policy and I'll explain why to you if you're a very good accountant what you should do is focus on doing as much accountancy as possible to make as much money as possible and all the other services you require in your life, for example, tailoring, you purchase from somebody else. If you're completely self-sufficient, then what you do is you have to make your own clothes. You take less time actually doing what you're good at, which is accounting. Overall, you end up broker because you should be a good accountant, but you're not busy doing accounting. You're busy sewing a shirt. So all in all, countries are actually more prosperous with a broader economic and trade policy. But I do also understand in your very unique situation it's difficult because of the American sanctions and the fact that if you did open up your country, they'd be looking to do a CIA on you and infect the minds of the youth with liberal garbage, NGOs, etc., etc., and they'd throw overthrow the country. So and, Andrew, pros I, and cons. I didn't know you Mr. I, Tate should come to North Korea and be my economic advisor. Andrew, I didn't know no, I didn't, Andrew, 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 I didn't know you no. Andrew, I didn't know you picked up another language. Yap mm. Japanese? You, you learn how to speak Japanese? What's the joke? I don't understand. That didn't hit. So I don't get it. Sorry, sorry. I don't understand. That was stupid. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. That was that was that was fuck for me. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, all right. Aiden, actually tell hey, Aiden, Aiden, tell us a joke that's funny. Go. Okay. Tell us a joke. Go. All right, all right, all right. Andrew. I, I did the chicken one. You want to, the chicken, the rooster joke. I already made you laugh from one of my jokes. You've never made me laugh. Yes, I have made you laugh before. Never, bro. Okay, I'll make you laugh right now. Um, let me think. Let me think of a joke to say. Um, hold on here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Um, um. Oh, I can make you laugh right now. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I was going to prank you with these, but I won't. Um, okay. I don't have a joke on the fly, man. I'm not really a stand-up comedian type of guy. Andrew, you can't make me laugh. Uh, I don't think either of you are comedians. <laughs> anyway, this um, is he home? Let me see if he's home. He should be home. I don't know who any of these people are, bro. I'm not plugged into the online streaming community. So how's the world? How's the world? World been? It's fine. Gotcha. I uh, you know, I uh. So what do you what do you do? Like, what do you do all day? What do you do for fun? I don't really have much fun, Aiden. I don't believe life's about fun. I know you told I work me. And, yeah, I work and I train and look after my children and build my empire and try and avoid matrix attacks. Yeah. I'm a very dedicated, hardworking individual. My life is pretty regimented. There's not so much room for random acts of drug taking and Facts. speaking to impersonators and whatever else you're doing with your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, like, I agree. Being gay on stream and all this shit. So why did you come out as gay if you're not gay? I'm not gay. You saw that clip? Like, I can't believe they fucking tweeted out. I'm not gay. You know I'm not gay, bro. You know I'm not gay. You know I'm not. You know I'm literally okay, not. Who's, who's your girlfriend? I mean, I don't have one right now, but I had one. You're 22 and you're a millionaire and you have a girlfriend. No. I don't. I think that's girls... Gay. I, that's gay, bro. How is that gay? How is that not gay? That's as gay as you can get. Just because I don't have a girlfriend? Yeah, bro, you're 22 and you've got a bunch of money you don't deserve and you can't even fucking get a chick to pretend to like you for money or nothing? I don't believe in um, true love, Andrew. That's gay, bro. It's fake. Why are you married then? Why am I what? Why are you not married? Who says I'm not married? Oh, you're married? Congrats, bro. Why didn't they get invited to the end wedding? 
Who says I was married? Are you in love? I'm in love with life, my friend. Every day I'm breathing, I'm happy. Okay. But uh, I've certainly never been sat around lonely like you. That's that's gay and weird. I got my boys. My boys are cool. They hold it down, you know. Got the boys. Your stuffed animals? No. Oh, you have real friends. Where are they then? Did you just have a, is that a bug in your room or is that the cigar? What was that? It might be. A, it might be a fly. It might be a matrix agent. Flies are matrix agents. Mm. Did you know that? I um. I don't think so. I don't. What, what, so what does that mean? Flies are. What does that mean? They're they're part of the matrix. Explain how. They're agents of the matrix. How does a fly get? An, how's a fly an agent of the matrix? Because it's unwelcome and it infiltrates. Yeah. Flies. Yeah, but flies are a bug. What do you mean? Bro, you need to see deeper. Use your third eye. Open up your chakras. You'll understand. I want to introduce you to Ali. Oh my God, my friend Ali. Aiden, you know every single time I speak to someone on your stream, nearly every single time, they're an idiot. You know that, don't you? Nearly everyone you okay. introduce me to. You can't lie. Idiot. When I got Jay, no, let, me, let me try. Let me try and remember. Let me try and remember the people you've introduced me to. XQC, who seems nice enough, but he screamed in autistic rage all day long. Some kid, some little McLovin kid who got beat up like a week later. Neon. Some, who else is there? Is that it? I don't know. Every time you bring someone on, they're just Wait, like, this, this, is my, this is my boy, Jake. Hey, Jake, yo. this is Andrew. You wanted to, you wanted to meet him. This is my, this is, uh, so Andrew, I'm gonna give you a little context. Jake here, I, uh, he's been following me for a long time. He loves you, he loves my streams together. I wanted to introduce you to Jake. He's a big fan. Good to meet you, Jake. Nice, nice to meet you too, Andrew. He's been supporting uh, us. He likes he likes the dynamic, the duo and stuff. So he's been, he's likes the streams and stuff. I just want to introduce you. He's, he's one of our biggest fans. Hope you're learning things, Jake. I only come on here to try and educate the world via proxy of educating Hayden. Yeah. <laughs> He has great energy, bro. I, I met him in person a couple times. He's a really, really high energetic, really like sweet, 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 sweet person. For real. That's good. I like that. Yeah, he's good, man. Mm -hmm. Um, Jake, you should tell Andrew. So he actually started streaming too, bro. He uh, he's he, you know he he found a found a passion. He's he started to stream, Andrew. He's motivated to stream. Mm -hmm. he's been putting a lot of work. I know the name right now. I'll check it out. Uh, it's my name. I'm Jake Future Chinese Good. Me and Aiden. Aiden's gonna help you get very famous. Yeah. Very rich. Very well known. Exactly. That's the goal. Yeah. Take all the girlfriends he hasn't got. Yeah. What the Jake? Yeah. What the? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Um. Also, Andrew. I am looking a box, by the way, soon. So you you pick my opponent, I'll box him. Give me a six month train. Pick my opponent, Andrew. Box me. <laughs> okay, I'll box you, but you have to have one hand behind your back. It's only fair. Oh, that's not fair. I would destroy you. All right, Jake. Who would who would win, me or Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Oh. Yeah, all he, all he really need to do is to do it all much. You want to be knocked out. Knocked out? This guy, you think this bald fuck is knocking me out, Jake? Yeah. Andrew, we can spar for fun. You know, I'm down to, you know, hop on a little jet coming to Romania. Okay? Uh, we can spar. It's Thursday. Come here. I expect to see you by Sunday. We're you can't, fight. you can't do that, bro. You cannot do that, bro. I have stuff planned. Just like you, you're... Well, what have you got planned with your very busy, very important life? Tomorrow I'm putting, um, I have eight fat people. I'm going to put on an e-date with a fat girl. Uh, the day after that, I'm having my friend, um, a couple of my friends, they can't leave a jail cell. Uh, last one leaves a jail cell, uh, gets paid 50 grand. I have some events getting planned. Okay, I don't know why you're doing the jail thing. That's fine. And what's this fat girl thing? <laughs> you want to participate in the jail thing? I've done enough jail for now. Okay, so Andrew, I have um, eight fat guys competing against one fat girl um, for an eating. Oh, don't do like that. And how does it work? What do you mean competing? Explain all. Oh, I don't understand. So I have eight fat guys, and there's one girl, and the girl has to choose one fat guy. Does that make sense? 
So you're like fat Cupid. Yeah. And which and you're one of the fat guys. Ha 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 ha. You're so fucking funny, bro. No, bro. I have actual fat people. Fuck. You don't want to lose to your the other fat guys. I'm not fat. You I'm not. You should use your tongue. I'm not. Banana. I'm not fat. I'm not fat. You're pudgy. Okay, but that's not fat. And I'm not even pudgy, bro. You look, look, look. Do I really look fat in this? How when are you coming over here to fight, man? You said you're gonna fight. When are you coming to fight? When should I come? Should I come in December? Oh, Eddie. Oh. Eddie. Oh, wait, not Eddie, but um, wait. How far is Australia to Romania? Far. How far? <laughs> You don't know basic geography far, bro. Far. How many hours, bro? Because I'll just, I'm going to Australia. I'll just, I'll, I'll stop by. Jake, you have a, a bright future ahead of you. You should be careful hanging around with losers like Aiden. He's full of shit. All right, bro. You know what? This is fucking crazy, bro. I can't. Um, yeah. When you go to Australia? Um, I'm pulling up. Um, I'm going to meet some people, uh, do some streams. Oh, I'm going to swim with the great white sharks out there for a stream. Great. When are you going? December. You want to meet me there? I was supposed to go in December also. I had it all planned, but I'm in the middle of a matrix attack, yeah. unfortunately. Ah, fuck. When you're genuinely influential, you get attacked by the matrix. I mean, I know you wouldn't understand, but when you're actually influential and important and say things that matter, the matrix attacks you. When you just pretend to be gay and do drugs and just be an idiot and be a clown, then they leave you alone. <clears throat> if you say things that actually inspire resistance amongst the populace and make people awake so All they right. can resist a state of mind. You don't, nobody, the, the, main, the mainstream media never sees it, but I really do talk about God a lot. I talk about a lot of people pursuing their passion, manifesting their goals, following their dreams and stuff. I really do a lot. You know, how much money do you get? I'm, when's the last time you fed somebody or helped somebody? Amy? Was the last time I gave out money? Yeah, when's the last time you helped? Yesterday. Me? Yesterday. Yesterday. I do a lot of things that I don't even want to show on the camera. I do things for the camera. I do not for the camera. But I do things on camera. I do things off camera. Like yeah. I, Thank you, Jake. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When was the last time you fed somebody, uh, Andrew? Can you can you put a website on the screen? Put tapepledge.com on the screen. I give twenty-five million dollars a year to charity. It's all there. I'll tell you right now, I'll donate to a charity with you, but we have to bet on it. I'll tell you what. This is what we're gonna do. I'll spar you. Loser has to donate twenty five grand. Also, but but Andrew, you have to run my double in basketball. We'll one on one and play basketball. Hayden, why are you talking about winners and losers like there's any chance of it being anything other than you just getting your ass whooped? <laughs> in a spar, maybe, but in a spar, maybe, but in basketball, you're not beating me. You're too old. If we spar, You're too if old. we spar first, if we spar first, I guarantee I'll beat you in basketball. You will not be playing basketball one on one. Okay, so we're gonna play basketball first, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the sparring. No, on a serious note, though, tapepledge.com. I want to make that clear to the world because the MSM never mentions that either. Tapepledge.com. I donate twenty five million dollars a year to feeding people. You go there right now. In fact, last week we were restoring eyesight. That's beautiful. Feeding people cataract operations. That's honestly beautiful, bro. Uh, yeah, you could. Man. We work hard to help people, Aiden, and I think that you should use your massive platform and the wealth that you don't deserve. I do, I do, bro, uh, bro. You don't see it because guess what? You only see the bad controversy with my name. Nobody sees the good. I don't care about that, but you don't see it. You don't know what I do. You don't know because you don't see it. I don't blame you. But the mainstream media never puts the good shit. They only put the weird shit when it comes to my name. Is sipping lean on stream for children to see? Is that some, one of the good things you do? No. And that's why I don't sip lean anymore, Andrew. Why'd you do it at all? Don't you feel guilty? Of course. I wish I never even picked up that bottle. I was going through a really hard time in my life, and I really wish that I had somebody to speak to. I didn't really have anyone that I could, that took me seriously to talk to. And um, I fucked up, and I feel guilty about it. But I haven't, I haven't been sipping, bro. I've, I've been clean, for real. All right. We'll see. Till the next clip turns up and i unfortunately <laughs> they unfortunately they appear in my life i try very hard to avoid it but somehow just some clip of you doing something degenerate manages to appear in my ecosystem wait so i have a question do you actually see do you see me a lot like do you when you see me do you like should i check up on it and do you miss me be honest i miss you i think about you all the time bro i really really do miss you a lot bro i miss you no people when you do dumb shit people always message me like look aiden's being an idiot fix him and I'm like, he can't be fixed. I can so be that's fixed. what usually happens. Every time you do something dumb, 
people start flooding my Twitter mentions with, look, Aiden's a loser. And it's just like, yeah. Do you have love for me? I think you're, I don't think you're a bad person. I think you're an idiot, but you're not necessarily a bad person. Are you perfect, Mr. Tate? I wouldn't say I'm perfect, but I definitely strive hard to be the best version of myself. And I'm very clear and conscious of my actions. And I try and be as rational as possible. And I make sure that the decisions <laughs> I make daily contribute towards increasing the life of, and the quality of life, not only of my own, but also of people who I care about and people around me in the world as a whole. I don't sit there and think, oh, fuck it, I'll just drink drugs because I feel bad because I don't know what, what can you even feel bad about? What's hard about your life? Personal manners, bro. Oh, yeah. Tate, I have you know, I sat, I sat in a jail cell for about six hours on stream. So you copied my jail stream. <laughs> I did. The cheap version. Yep. And then you never even went to jail for real. And that, and that's why you're taking drugs. Can I be honest though? Jail wasn't even that bad when I was, when I, when I did the stream, it, it, I mean, I kind of went a little bit crazy. I had my phone in there, but it didn't seem like that was that bad. Well, six hours in a fake jail with your phone. That's called being, <laughs> that's called a bedroom, my G. What are you talking about? Yeah, but like. That's, like, like, that's, that's nothing like real jail at all. That's not true because in, in the real jail, you can keister a phone up your butthole and poop it out. And you have it, you have it in your jail cell. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> um, all right. So when are we, when, when are we hanging out? I think you should come here. We should spar. Fine. Can I bring Jake Paul? Uh, I think Jake, <laughs> well, I mean, if Jake and I were to fight, it would be, uh, big, big, big news, but we can spar. I don't know if want to do the cameras, but he's welcome to come. Sure. All right. Um, I got to come all the way to Romania. It's fun. I'll do it. I'm going to beat your ass, kick your ass. Um, let's see here. Uh, if I beat you... Uh, I, want, I want everyone in the chat to remember, one, he said he's coming to Romania, which he's not going to do. Second, he says he's going to chop his finger off, which he's not going to do. Third, he says he donates money to charity, and he's going to show us how he helps the world, which he's not going to do. Everyone should just keep track. Can someone make a Twitter account, Aiden's Lies? They already have that. That's the funny... They already have that. That's the craziest part. They already have Aiden's Lies. They already have it. Aiden's Lies. I'll do it. We can make it go viral to show how much crap this man constantly speaks. Bro, how did you know... Wait, did you know... Did you know there's already a page called Aiden Lies? I actually didn't know. I had no idea. That's crazy. Yeah, they already have one. No, but um, but Andrew, real shit though, bro. You don't see it a lot, but I really do try to help and find ways to help people for real. I really do. Um, are you in Miami or LA? Where are you? Miami. I got out of that devil place. I sold my house out there. You know, I I love Miami, man. Miami's it's good. It's got some good spots in it. You know. Have they stopped swatting you? You were getting swatted all the time at one point, weren't you? Yeah, I got swatted in person a couple times. Um, but I now um. In Miami, I have a system with them. They would never allow me to do in LA, but I have a system where I have police roll around me and pretty much everywhere I go now. Um, they really help me out. This, this Miami PD are super, super helpful and uh, Miami PD is amazing. So they, they really make sure I'm safe and other people are safe as well. That's good. Safety is important. That's very, good. very important, man. Very important. How's the uh, Romania uh, uh, police system going? Yeah. A unique experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I, um, yeah, man, I, you been playing any video games? I heard you were playing Smash Bros, Super Smash. I would fuck you up at Smash Bros. Stop it. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, I would mess you yeah. up. You, you gotta play me in Mortal Kombat. You wanna play Mortal Kombat or not? We're gonna spar. That's Mortal Kombat. That's, that's done. Fair enough. But first, I'll fuck you up at Smash Bros. Then I'll fuck you up Mortal Kombat for real. I'll take your soul. Like Shang Tsung. That's gonna happen in sparring. Okay, question. But Smash Bros, come here. We play Smash Bros. I destroy you. Then we spar. That's our Mortal Kombat, and that's the end of Aiden Ross and his career. Fair enough. Yeah. When I go to last thing before you leave or anything like that, when I go to Romania, can we hang out? Can we um, cook s'mores, watch movies, um, and um, uh, what's your favorite movie, Aiden? I'm curious. I have three favorite movies. Um, okay. I've, there's this movie called The Bronx Tale. It's an amazing movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a very. It teaches you a very valuable lesson with life. It teaches you uh, that there's a, a hardworking man who's involved in the modern day slavery. He's busting his ass off every day, providing money for his family, and he has the real job. And then there's this gangster who um, pretty much is like as is rich as fuck and is splurging, and he has like the dirty money. And then there's this kid in the middle who's uh, the, the hardworking um, man's son, but he caters more to the the, the dirty money. It's just a super good movie. It's like it, it's a collateral movie. It's really really good. Everyone should watch The Bronx Tale. Um, De Niro's in it. It's a good movie. 
that's probably my favorite movie though. Um, what about you? What's your favorite movie? You like the you like the Matrix? Three. The other two. Um, I would say my other favorite movies are. I just watched this. Uh, what? Uh, there's some good movies, man. I. Uh, how, Aiden? How can it be your? How can you say I have three favorite movies and you don't know what they are? It's hard. You know, okay, okay, okay. I don't. I don't understand you as a person. I don't get how your mind functions at all. I have three favorite movies. What are they? Um, let me think of some movies. Like, I don't. I don't know. On what level are you on the spectrum, my G? What's wrong? No, Andrew. Yes, no. yes, I am actually. <laughs> what are your favorite movies? <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> all right, all right. So the Bronx Tale for sure. I'm gonna say this is very, very casual answer. I'll put this at number three. The Wolf of Wall Street. It's a good movie. I just love that movie. And number two, it's either Get Rich or Die Trying, or it's um, Eight Mile. <laughs> 